Hello, comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I am your host, Bill Miller. This is our fourth vlog in a five recording series of Aquaman from the Silver Age. In this particular instance, we'll be reading Aquaman issue number four. So turn the volume up just a hair. Turn the lights down a smidgen, sit back, relax, and let your imagination paint the pictures as we read Aquaman, issue number four. And on the cover, we have Aquaman, Aqualad, and Quiss. That looks like there's some sort of creature firing a ray gun of some sort at them. Aquaman says, One of those aliens has encased us in an energy bubble, and the other is about to fire at our little water sprite friend, Quisp. An amazing three-part novel featuring the king of the seven seas and his young ally, Aqualad. From out of nowhere it appeared, a floating chunk of land that skirted the coastline, bringing catastrophe in its wake. Where did it come from? Why was it here? Who were its inhabitants? These were but a few of the puzzles confronting Aquaman and Aqualad as they set out to challenge the menace of Alien Island. Duck Aqualad, someone's firing strange glowing missiles at us. Aquaman pushes Aqualad down as we see a burst of light above them. A dawn mist blankets the coastal waters and Aquaman and his young ally Aqualad start their maritime patrol when... Jumping jellyfish! Look Aquaman! A free tidal wave about to hit that fishing village! Great waves! We'll need plenty of assistance if we hope to save all the villagers. A telepathic message issues from the Sea King and then after racing to the scene don't worry, folks. More help is on the way. And we see the village flooded with the water line up to the roof of several of the houses. Shortly, as an army of octopi arrives, we'll have to get all those people off the rooftops and onto that higher ground. The rescue proceeds according to plan as, Up you go. The octopi chain will take care of you next. So the octopi have chained themselves from the village to the water in the village, from house to house, to a point of higher ground. And they are shifting the people back and forth like a bucket line. But just then, oh no, another tidal wave, twice the size of the first one. Nothing can save the rest of the people now. <laughs> You're so wrong, Aqualad. What? It's Quiss, our little water sprite friend. And as the strange miniature marble from a world beneath the ocean floor demonstrates his amazing powers. Nucky, I decided to visit you at this time. I can easily handle that wave. Great day that the tidal wave was stopped cold. Now, back to the sea with you. And Quiss raises his hand, and with an energy beam stops the wave and pushes it back from whence it came. And while I'm at it, I may as well get rid of the rest of the water, too. Good work, Wisp. Come on, Aqualad. Let's help the people down from the rooftops. Presently, Aquaman, how can we thank you enough for saving our lives? Your thanks should really go to my little friend, Quisp. I'd like you all to meet him now, but... Great guppies, he's gone. Isn't it just like Quisp to pull a vanishing act? Suddenly, as the dawn mist clears, Great Scott, look, just offshore an island. It, it wasn't there before. It must be a floating island. Yes, and it may be responsible for those tidal waves. Come on, Aqualad. We'll check it out. Minutes later, as the aquatic aces reach the island shore, I wonder where this island floated from. Maybe we'll find a clue in the interior through this pass. 
But midway through the pass, a strange glowing object shooting out of that hole in that hill. The dirt hit the dirt, Aqualad. Bam! Whew! Sure glad you pushed me out of the way in time, Aquaman. But look, I think another one's about to shoot out. Swiftly, the sea sleuth hurls a rock with unerring aim. Blam! Good work, Aquaman. You wrecked that strange shell right in the barrel hole, but what's this all about? So, out of the side of this uh, mountain pass comes a missile that explodes, and then before the second one can shoot out, Aquaman destroys it. We should know once we're beyond the pass. Come on. Soon. Look at the strange vegetation. I've never seen anything like it before. Hmm. Same here. Abruptly. Leaping sea lions. What, what's happening? Another trap. And the two fall through some vines through a hole, and they start going downward. And when they hit the bottom of the deep pit, th these shiny smooth walls can't get a grip on them. We'll never get out of here, Aquaman. Yes, and without water, we'll both be dead within an hour. Just then, wait, Aqualad, those seagulls. There are one chance. And SOS is telepathized to the hovering gulls, and the message is relayed to a signal fish on the surface. Next to receive the desperate bulletin is a pair of powerful conger eels who swim swiftly to the seafloor where... And before long, a thrilling rescue ensues. That's it. Up we go. And so the seagulls... grab some seaweed from the eels and they drop the seaweed down into this hole with which to rescue Aquaman and Aqualad. And as they crest the hole that they fell down, thanks pals, and the seagulls fly off. It looks as if this whole island is booby-trapped, Aquaman. Maybe we want to make tracks off it. Not until we find out what's behind it all, Aqualad. At that moment, look Aqualad, some sort of elevator coming up out of the ground. And next instant, you very cleverly escaped those trapped earthlings, but you will not be so fortunate when I press the trigger of my ray gun. An, an alien being. And from that elevator, we see an alien life form with a ray gun in what looks to be an astronaut type suit. Chapter 2. Aquaman counts on the help of his water sprite ally to thwart the evil plans of the alien bandits. But when the miniature Marvel bravely races to the Sea King's aid, a grim twist of fate leads to Quiss Last Stand. Oh no, Quiss came to our rescue, but now he's being blasted by those aliens. We see the aliens training their ray gun on Quiss and letting him have it. The alien's finger tightens on the ray gun trigger. The aquatic aces face certain doom when... It's Quisp, riding in on a wave he formed. Ha ha, he's really clobbering that alien with his wave. Good work, Quisp. Now I'll take over. So Quisp attacks the alien with the water wave upon which he was riding, and then Aquaman follows up with a right cross. That's that. Now the question is, where'd that alien come from? I don't know, but there are some more of them underwater. What? Uh-huh. That's why I fled so suddenly before. I caught sight of them, and when I went to take a look, when I came back to the mainland to inform you, I was told you had gone to this island. Wisp, you keep an eye on those aliens in the sea. After I tie this one up with this vine, we'll go down that elevator and investigate below. It's a startling surprise that greets the aquatic aces as they descend to the island's interior. Great guppies, we're in a, a spaceship. Yes, and look, there are more aliens, but these seem to be in prison behind a kind of force wall. Just then, a frantic voice reaches them via a speech disc. Earthlings, you must help us for your, sake, for your sake as well as our own. But who are you and where are you from? We are Suvian scientists who were testing a new machine on our lunar lab when... Do not resist, or we shall fire. We have come for your new invention. Hand it over. And it's a flashback of them 
conducting, conducting an experiment with their new machine and it's being taken over by force by other aliens. Prepared for such an emergency, we simply pressed a button and great stars, they have propelled the machine into space. Do not worry, we have directional finders on our ship and we will imprison these scientists so they cannot give the alarm. They trace the machine to this sea area on Earth and are using powerful search weapons to find it. Hmm, those weapons probably cause those freak tidal waves. With that machine, they could control our world, and who knows what destruction they will cause on your planet. You must try to locate it before they do, and also recover the power key to unlock this force field. Soon. No sign of those aliens anywhere yet, Aquaman. I wonder if Quiz spotted them. And Aqualad and Aquaman dive into the ocean. Suddenly, Aquaman, there's one of them now. Psh! He's firing at us. And as the fantastic shot reaches its helpless targets, we're enclosed in some kind of energy bubble. In that same instant, however, it's Quisp repelling the alien. Blam! And Quisp shoots a force field that knocks the alien backwards. Blam! Thanks a lot, little friend. But at that moment, oh no, another alien came up and he's firing at Quisp. Watch out, Quisp! Too late, Aqualad. He got Quiz point blank with that rainbow shot. A and there's no sign of our little water sprite friend. He he gave his life to save ours. We won't last long either right now if we don't make tracks. They're after us. As the desperate duo races away at blinding speed, we'll circle back and summon some of our finny friends to help us. Well, shortly... Aquaman, look, they found that machine. So Aquaman and Aqualad come up out of the water and they're watching the aliens haul this machine up onto the island. Cautiously, they follow the aliens to shore where, yes, but they're going out onto the mainland instead of back to their ship. Why? They're heading for that hill. Yes, and now they're beaming the machine at the stone face of the hill. Look, Aquaman, a, a giant figure is being formed out of the rock face. Yes, a stone robot they're able to control. No wonder those good aliens were so afraid of these bandits getting hold of that machine. Just think, with that single machine, they could create a whole army of robots out of rocks or any other substance. Obviously, what they're doing now is testing it. Abruptly, those fishermen are firing at it. And we see some fishermen in a jeep. Bam! 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 Firing pistols at the rock creature. Jump! You haven't got a chance against it. When the rock creature smashes the jeep, just as the three occupants jump out, out of it. Then, Aquaman, they're sending the robot against that shed. Destroyed it with one mighty blow. Now, now it's headed for that cottage, and there are people in it. They'll be killed. Only one chance to save them. Wait here, Aqualad. No, no, Aquaman. You can't stop that stone robot by yourself. Come back. Come back. The moment of decision is at hand, as Aquaman and Aqualad gamble everything, including their lives, on a titanic trick to stop the evil aliens. But a cruel twist of fate turns the table so that the aquatic aces themselves fall into the undersea trap. Chapter 3 You did it, Aquaman. You got hold of the machine. But not for long, you two earthlings. Oh, but not for long, you two earthlings have interfered in our plans for the last time. So we see Aquaman holding the strange machine, and Aqualad chasing after one of the ray guns, and we have two of the aliens also in the water. The fantastic robot is about to test its destructive power on the cottage one. Got it. Aquaman lassos his leg just as his leg is raised to step on the cottage. Great roping, Aquaman! It'll give the people a chance to get out of that cottage. But next moment, Aquaman, now they're sending it after us! I figured they would. That's why I sent a telepathic message to those seagulls a few minutes ago. They've tied the robot up in knots with that big fishing net. Right, and by the time it rips itself free, we'll be back in the sea. 
So the seagulls grabbed a huge fishing net and dropped it over the rock monster. Yes, we'll be safe, but what's to stop those aliens from continuing to test the robot in the village? Another idea we I've got, Aqualad. Come on. A short while later, the robot is free. Good. Let us give it a thorough testing by making it crush every dwelling in the village. But suddenly, great guns. Our camouflage spaceship, it is floating out to sea. Eh? We must investigate at once. Leave the robot where it is. With this machine, we can create as many more as we wish. Yes, and there is a small boat we can take to the island. Hurry. Meanwhile, unknown to the aliens, keep pushing away, whales. Our plan is working. We've lured the aliens away from the village. Here they come. Ready for the next step. And Aquaman has elicited the help of some whales to push their spaceship further out into sea. The speedboat leaps forward, but before it can get very far, thump, what, what is that? The swordfish are turning the boat's hull into a Swiss cheese, Aquaman. By the stars, it's those strange fishmen again. And they've enlisted the help of some swordfish to puncture holes in the bottom of the speedboat that the aliens were using to boat on out to their spaceship. Quickly, non your breathing helmets. It is time we put an end to that pair of nuisances. There they are. Open fire. And so they take to the water, ray guns at the ready. But when they take aim, th those tentacled fish, they are hurling large empty seashells at us. Next instant, as the weapons go off, that's it. Scatter. Our vision is clear again. Make certain we do not miss. But once again, Feeny friends of the Sea King are hastily summoned. Those Portuguese man of war fish are setting up a terrific cover for us. Yes, and now it's time to set the final trap. Meanwhile, it, it is impossible to see through this dense screen. Let us separate so we will have a better chance of finding those fishmen. So the screen is set by the Portuguese man of war. Men of war, I guess. But moments later, that strange lone fish darting at me. What is it? The electric eel shocked him into dropping the machine, as you had hoped, Aquaman. Yes, giving me the chance I need. Grab his weapon, Aqualad. So an electric eel shocked him. He dropped his weapon. Aqualad's chasing it. And Aquaman has gotten the rock creature creating machine. Too late. You earthlings will never get in our way again. Well, he's got a direct shot at us, Aquaman. We're finished for sure this time. But at that instant, blam! Something blasted the ray gun right out of his hands. Quiz, we, we thought you'd been killed. You should know better. That alien shot may have hauled me a sea mile and shaken me up a while, but that's all. Watch it, Quisp. Here comes the third alien bandit. Hee <laughs> hee. You mean, there he goes. Blam! And Quisp fires at the alien, and he is knocked backward through the water and out of the water. Zooks, there won't be much fight left in him by the time he drops back. There isn't. Now, let's get these characters into the spaceship. Shortly. That's it, my friend. Just press the button on the power key to unlock the force field. So they've captured the bad aliens. They're back in the ship, and they're freeing the good science, science aliens. Excellent. And now, if you bandits will kindly take our places, we will return you to Suvia, where you will stand trial for your crimes. Earthlings, we shall never forget you. After what we've been through, we'll never forget them either. Soon as powerful motors hum, there they go, and we see the spaceship, the flying saucer, take off. Yes, and that reminds me. It's time for me to go, too. Ta-ta, Aquaman and Aqualad. I'll pay you another visit real soon. So long, little friend. Sometime later in the village. We're leaving the robot statue where it is, Aquaman. It'll make a great tourist attraction. I'm sure it will. But it's time to resume our maritime patrol, Aqualad. Let's go. And that concludes 
Aquaman issue number four. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed sharing it with you. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted as soon as I release new recordings. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.